All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So I am taking a quick dedicated look at Excella here. I was super bullish during the week of the 10th to the 17th. The 17th, I think, was the last time I made this video. And yeah, it's just, it's been a rough time for Excella. And end of the day, I think the whole story is that red line that you see right there, the 50 moving average. So we'll get into the details shortly, but real quick, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how the stock is sitting up short term. We do have our five moving averages these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like, subscribe, share, comment, anything you can do to this video really does help with the YouTube algorithms. But I swear, just being here and giving me your time is beyond appreciated. So thank you for that, okay? And hey, if you've got some different opinions than me, please don't hesitate to share them, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm not all knowing. I have no idea what Monday's going to do. I'm just giving you my thoughts, right? And if you've got better thoughts, I promise I'm not going to hate on them. I would love to hear them, okay? So let's get into it. And look, Excella, again, this 50 moving average line. I'm just going to zoom out real quick, real quick, real quick. It's actually a lot longer than I expected, but give or take since the end of 2001, you can almost say since like Jesus, since September, it looks like that's the red line up there, right? So since September 2001, this red line has pretty much been impossible to break, okay? We do it twice right there. We probably do it once right there. I'm not going to zoom in. Maybe we do it right there, but look, this is the only time we do it two days in a row right from again september 2001 all the way till today april 2003 that red 50 moving average line is no joke all right and again i was super super b bullish so i hate using bullish and bearish i swear but i was really i i liked the stock during this week all right you can go back I'm, I'm normally pretty pessimistic on this one but yeah i was bullish and it really delivered you can see the macd looks nice rsi looks nice in this week there's literally four good green candles just to this one little insignificant red like this 10 to 17 window that's beautiful all right and truth be told it should have kept going more all right, honestly, it really should have. The story again is this 50 moving average. And look, I know this stock has meme army powers. I know there's, I know what Excella is, but end of the day, I'm telling you, I really live and die by these moving averages. And again, I use a more, I don't wanna say more complex one, but I use a, a, a heavier stack when I move my money, right? We're looking at chart readers here, but I, I use something else. And end of the day, I'm telling you, it's, it's all indicators. And yeah, the 50 is hard. The 50 is for sure on my the one. You know what I mean? Like the 50 is a real guy and real girl and it's no joke, okay? So yeah, this was by no means oversold, right? Like this was just in the 60s. I start ringing the bell around 80s, right? Like this really, MACD was just looking good. Volume had a beaut, like I'm like there, there was so much between Monday and Thursday and it, this drop to the four red, sincerely in my, I, I sincerely believe if we broke the, the red line, the 50, those four reds would have for sure been four monster greens that probably ran to seven, you know? And on my post, I, I post a little bit more on stock twits. I, I really was loud about the 50 being hard. I think a lot of people genuinely disagreed with me. And again, I'm not here to be like, I'm right and you're wrong kind of stuff, right? Like we're all learning together. And I promise you, I'm not perfect. I make so many mistakes, it's sad. But like, yeah, it's it's just, you gotta give respect to the to the lines. I know it sounds silly to say, but um, yeah, it is, it just, it is what it is. And where are we now? Man, this was a pretty bad rejection of the 50. However, this did a really good job, this being the 20 moving average. And I really actually wanna focus right here because I actually see the exact same setup. We hit the 50, we end up dropping and, and this little curve happens again, right? It, I'm not necessarily saying the same like horrible down is gonna happen, but 
This is literally the same thing as this right here. We hit the 50, the, the eight kind of makes some little curve thing. We hit the 50, the eight makes some kind of curve thing. The 20 doesn't really hold as well as it does here, but the 20 loses it and it goes down, right? And then the curve drops and it goes down. This looks like it wants to go down, right? Like, excuse me, this isn't as flat as it was, right? Like you can clearly see the line is going down. So it's for sure not as violent a drop right there, right? But again, if we don't hold this, it, it, it could be really scary on Monday, truth be told, you know? And yeah, you, you again, it, it, it held better. That's at least the one thing to say. It for sure held better. It, again, being the 20 moving average. But um, yeah, this for sure needs to get over 50% of this day or at the, an easier line. No, this one doesn't count. You, you for sure have to beat 411. Actually, this 411 day might be the day we have to get over. Again, I don't have more decimals. I sincerely wish I would, but I think closing over the 411 candle will be big because let's be honest. Again, as I just said, I think that eight line is going down and I can see it on Monday maybe being about right here. Again, I'm not here pretending I know the math on these lines, but yeah, I, I can kind of see the line going down, right? So, and then look, that same like positiveness on the volume here, complete opposite right here. We get four pretty bad red ones and then one green one, right? So I would say the green to red ratio is better here than the red to green ratio here, but you know, end of the day, I say 80% of the work is up here and I'm telling you 100% of the work is on the 20. We either bounce up or we lose this on Monday. I don't think we get another doji. Thursday lost it, Friday at least kept it. So we're kind of dancing with the line, but yeah, this is for sure a doji. And I always say a doji on or near a really important line. The next day generally says the truth. That's what happened here, right? We get a doji right next to the 50. Next day said the truth. We get a doji right here next to the 20. I think Monday will either bring us here over the eight or it'll take us here under the 20, okay? Hopefully this line right here holds, basically the bottom of this, top of this, and top of this. Again, I wish I had more decimals, right? Like it all says four cents, which is a little useless here, I understand that, but use the dates if you can on whatever system you're using, right? But yeah, hopefully this line holds, and you can see that's pretty much what we wicked, right? So I, I think it looks like we wick pretty much the top of that day. Yeah, give or take, right? So this is a bit of a plateau, right? We go down, horizontal, up. Now we're down. Hopefully this holds like this at first and then this super worst case. But yeah, if we lose this, this stock's already in all time lows, right? So it's just going lower and lower and lower until it actually doesn't. What is a little interesting is, is the, the eight and the 20 on the weekly. Obviously this isn't great, right? We, we break the eight here and fail. We break the eight here and fail. But look, these two weekly breaks happen really close to each other. And I mean, let's just zoom out a bit, right? Oh, I guess there was a, a close one there and a horrible one. But basically since, since July of 2002, that was the first one after that, right? So that was a lot, that was almost six, seven, eight, nine months, right? This is at least closer. Hopefully that's a little indicative that like we're trying to break this. And look, these two are now getting close enough to where it's just, we're either gonna break it or, or we're actually gonna fall much, much worse. So again, I know four cents seems low. I know it's like, how much lower can this go? But the answer actually is there's four more cents this thing can lose. I'm not here saying it's gonna go to zero or imply anything like, I'm not here to spread fear or anything like that, right? But end of the day, you need to be over the eight and the 20. You have to be over the eight and the 20 on the weekly to expect a good daily right? Like this whole mess of under the eight on the weekly literally just means death on the daily. But if you can actually be over the eight and the 20 on the weekly, that should start to mean a whole mess of good days, right? And hey, volume starting to go up. This is kind of starting to go up. This is starting to go up. We're still a little further away from zero than I'd like, but hey, it's, it's going up, right? And shit, it wasn't that long ago. We were at the like negative four, right? We're at least less than negative one, right? Just not quite at zero. So Excel is trying. It's definitely trying, right? And um, yeah, breaking this 
50 is probably going to be the, the, the real sign that this stock is ready to, to make a difference because let's just end it where we started it, all right? Since September of 2001, that red line, it's been pesky. It has, and let me just zoom in right here just so you guys can see it. Like that red line, that red since right here, since end of August has literally been right above us for forever, you know? So break the 50, Excella will do some nasty things. Otherwise, just look at that red line. Just look at, I know I'm going quick, but you can see it. You can see it. We never stay consistently over that red and we're pretty much consistently under it. So um, we're getting close. It's just not yet until that breaks, okay? Trade safely out there and um, yeah, more videos are coming.